Hello guys, in this video we will talk about uh, systems that are offline and how to fix that. Um, before we start the video, I will uh, like to say that when we now start to talk a little bit about problems and how to troubleshoot things with solar, it's important to know that actually solar systems that are properly installed have very rarely have problems. So for example, out of those uh, about 25 systems we have installed, we have actually only had one inverter failure and that was a grid, very bad grid, that was the cause of that. And uh, obviously that customer, he will get a new one quite fast, uh, at least compared to how it can be. He will get a new one in January, this just happened a few weeks ago. Uh, but except for that, we have had no inverter failures, we had, have only had small... Uh, you know, like a screen malfunction, uh, and we had a breaker malfunction, and one time we had a meter that wasn't working, but it's all small problems. So in actually with solar, once a system is uh, installed properly, uh, it's very little maintenance, and that's obviously because solar system have no moving parts. Uh, there's no oil. There's nothing to take off and put back together all the time absolutely not so you know solar systems they are they do have a little bit of you know you have to check on the monitoring how it's running and stuff but uh, normally like for example our system we have had it now for one and a half year i think we've had for that time we've had three alarms which is very little and they have all been about temporary problems like temporary low volt from the grid something like that it just solves itself so uh, very little maintenance but when that said sometimes uh, there are things and sometimes we at least should know what those things mean when they they pop up so that we can handle it and one of these things is when we go into the monitoring and we see that the system is offline like this uh, so what's going on? Well, that means that the solar system is not able to communicate with the internet. And uh, the simplest reason for that is that internet is off, basically, in the house. Either somebody turned off the router or the internet company is doing maintenance outside. If that's the case, it's just a matter of waiting for the internet company to fix it uh, and then the, the internet will come back the solar system will come back automatically if the router is off just turn on the router of course if you have uh, still have a problem and the router was not off and there was no maintenance on the internet then the first option to try is to restart the router uh, that's always good because it creates a new connection so to speak so do that go to the router i think everybody knows what the router looks like but anyway something like this there's a button on the back press that leave it off for a minute or two turn it back on that will create a new connection and will definitely solve many connection problems if it's still not working now we have to try to think a little bit more what's going on uh, it could be that something is wrong uh, with the communication f on the inverter side, like either on the dongle, the Wi-Fi dongle. I'll show you a picture of the Wi-Fi dongle on a Growbot inverter. It's down here. If that does not have a blue light, something is wrong with the communication there. It could be as simple as maybe you moved the router to a place that's further away from the solar system then this thing cannot reach the router and thus cannot tell you what's going on with the system. If that's the case, you need to move the router um, or install an extender so that uh, the Wi-Fi reaches the inverter again and it can connect. If you have bought a new router or you did a hard reset of the router that you have, Hard reset means that you basically take out all the settings in the router. Normally this means that the solar system loses connection to the uh, internet and it has to be connected back again and only we can do that in most systems. 
so then we have to come to you. So if you are planning to buy a new router or change the internet situation in your house, try to make a plan and so that uh, there's not a big gap but between when uh, you do it and we can come because you're going to be without monitoring until we come and attach connect this wi-fi dongle to your internet again so now when that is said if that's the problem that uh, the communication between the inverter and the router is broken in if that's the problem that means that the system is still working 100 percent okay so a solar system can work without having internet connection 100% fine and on many of these units uh, you can see also on the display or here with the green light that it's uh, working and then especially if you are in the house and not on vacation or in another country uh, you can actually go to the inverter check that it's working fine wait for us to come and that's okay to have a situation like that for a week or two or even more as long as we have a plan for when to fix and that we can observe the inverter itself that it is actually okay if the inverter is not working then it's better to turn the whole system off and wait for us to come and that's not often but uh, it can happen and, and we have to check what's going on so those were the, some of the problems that can happen when you see systems offline so if you if you check the easiest first and then go down the line and then we'll help you out if uh, if there's no easy solution.